so after burning, stabbing, poisoning, we then filled the holes. Um, I forgot what I use now, it's this silica powder with a special primer. Um, Ron's just, there's little bits of bare timber, he's onto that. All right, I'm in a slipway. It's first thing in the morning on a Saturday, and I dived on Narwhal, Narwhal a few days ago, and I found little holes in the boat, and I've been paranoid of worms since since Balin have been stuck in the mud for for um, for a few months, and I've come to Pelican Slipway, which is this beautiful little slipway. Um, and I've got narwhal sitting here. So one of the old boat builders said, you know, you find these little holes. The best thing to use is a kind of mortein. I hate this shit. I haven't, I don't kill anything. Like, Washing down the boat, we're gonna anti-foul it because it's out of the water. So got my mate Rowan here and Keith. Everyone knows Keith now. And my dad just turned up. He's uh, cleaning the propeller. Um, obviously we're going to fix these little holes in the worm, but bringing the boat out and having it up here for a couple of days, we might as well anti-foul it, because it'd just be stupid not to, so. Here's another hole here. So we're doing all the above, we're using wire, we're using flames, we're using uh, mortine, so that we're definitely going to kill the bugs, use all the above. Given from Duncan, kite surfing legend, he you've he seen. Uh, I've got about oh, five liters of Jotun Sea Guardian, so I'm going to paint the blue up to about here, two coats all the way around the leading edges, and then I'm going to put another 10 liters on on top of the whole boat. So I've masked the line. Uh, and we're back on the water. So pretty happy that I got on top of the worm situation. If I'd left it for another 12 months, I could have been in trouble, so. All right, so Rowan's. Uh... So this is an anode after six months, right? Look at that. The electrolysis on this is just six months. That's what it looked like beforehand. I think that's got a gap, a gap now. Yeah, so we had to cut the anode, what, 10 mil off the side? Yeah, cut a little bit off. 
This is the intake for my engine. It's all the blue. We've used all the blue. Uh, we were going to start painting the black on, but I'll be in the water tomorrow night at 7. So first thing tomorrow morning, uh, two coats of 10 litres of black and then prop speed and then we're back in the water. The anchor, anchor winch is all done. So now I just need to wire it up. We've put on about 15 or 16 litres of anti foul. We've put on a new anode. We've got to cut the anode down to fit. And we've now just put some prop speed on, which is like a silicon. So you'd never ever touch this. So if the boat was sitting for a while and the barnacles get on there, as soon as you put the engine in gear, the barnacles fall off because they can't grip to the silicon. Um, I've touched up a few little marks on the paint and um, Rowan and my dad and Keith helping uh, without them I would still be here uh, it took me a week rather than a day and a half so um, I'm really really stoked they came to help me uh, and and the biggest news is that we've got an electric anchor winch which was uh, a real mission to to install and um, so I've got some video of, of doing that um, so and we're going back on the water at seven o'clock seven o'clock tonight uh, it'll be dark but the high tides then so we're out on Friday night and we've had Sunday uh, Saturday and and basically half day Sunday and we're finished so she she looks fantastic <laughs> 